this so much. Celtic Illusion is a dance and magical illusion sensation and it's quickly growing to become one of the biggest dance shows in the world. After a sellout nationwide tour of New Zealand two years ago, they are back bigger and better than ever. With us now is the man behind this incredible production, Anthony Street. Welcome back to the cafe. Great to be back. It is really nice to have you here. And I must say, every time I hear this, I just think, that is just the most bizarre thing I think I've ever heard of, like with the Irish dance yep. and the illusion as well. I yeah. mean, how did you, how did it all melt together? It is bizarre. Like when I tell people to dance an illusion show and they always go, oh, what kind of dance? And I'm like, it's Irish. <laughs> I know it's weird. Just got to check it out though. But um, yeah, it started out because I had a massive passion for magic when I was younger and I had dreams of having a big illusion show. And then when I started Irish dancing, I then had another dream to have a big dancing show. So I had this concern thinking, oh, I might not have enough time in my lifetime to produce both these shows. So maybe put the two together. And that's kind of basically how it happened, yeah. And boom, the rest they say is history. Uh, we yeah. were half expecting uh, an Irish accent, but you are uh, you have an Australian I'm accent. I'm an Aussie, yeah. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> not, not disappointed at all. How far back does the Irish dancing go then, and how did that all sort of come about in the first place? Well, uh, it all started when I was 14 years old, and I saw River Dance on TV. And my nana had a video of Riverdance and I became quite obsessed with it. I was secretly watching the video after school every single day and watched it so much that the video stopped working. And uh, I never really cared about taking up the lessons, but my nana went on the search for the classes and they found a class in my hometown, took up classes. And then five years later, I was offered a position in another dance show and, and it became my career. Nana's a good like that. Then is I really good like that? So you are you're you're the director, you're the producer, and you're the choreographer of this production as well. But you're also yeah. the lead dancer as well. Yeah. How do you fit all that in? I mean, how do you make it all work? Because that's a lot of roles. It's it's insane. I I go to bed thinking of it. I wake up thinking of it. It's taken over my life completely. And I also juggle another job as well, just to keep. Oh, just because you're not busy enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah. No, I actually work in um my cousin's uh, steel factory, so I'm. Because I'm working so hard to make this show so big as possible. It sounds a little bit like flash dance. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit me? like the uh, um, boot man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but real life, yeah. What sort of illusions are we likely to see in the show? Uh, we've got some really cool appearances, vanishes, uh, an amazing levitation with a bit of a twist to it. And we also do uh, an illusion that was made famous by Harry Houdini, his famous metamorphosis trick, which is a, a transposition between himself and the assistant on a, on a trunk but we've modernised it and we do it on a table. So you can see underneath it and around and yeah, it's pretty, pretty yeah, spectacular. Seeing some pretty cool stuff on screen there. So it's not just like doing a jig and then poof, someone's gone. It's like a whole real amazing show. Uh, and there's an incredible soundtrack too, I hear. Yeah, the music's amazing. We've got two fantastic uh, composers who worked on the music. Angela Little, who did work with Baz Luhrmann on the film Australia. Wow. Oh. And she's actually Sydney based as well. And the music's just fantastic. People are constantly asking for the soundtrack. And also Steve, Steve Skinner from New Jersey. He's done work with some of the biggest names in the industry like Celine Dion, Bette Midler, um, even America's Got Talent. So we've got a good combination of music there. How does it fit together? Is it, you know, a bit of dance and some illusion or it's all just very much? It's very mixed together. Of, um, it, like you said before, there's no actual putting in a girl in a box and cutting her in half and stuff. Uh, the effects sort of happen um, when you sort of least expect it and they're intertwined with the routines. Uh, so it's quite seamless. So um, yeah, there's a bit of a surprise around every corner. It's really. Really cool. So somebody literally is doing a jig and then they will disappear. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you have to come and see it. I just love the I just love the whole concept of it because it just sounds like two things that I would never have thought would work so well together, but they obviously do because you've been in Hong Kong touring around yeah. Australia. This is your second time back in New Zealand. Yeah. How was it? How was it um, welcomed last time you were here? Oh, uh, touring New Zealand was absolutely amazing. It was one of the best tours I've ever, ever done, and it was received so well. That's why we're back here. Yeah, it was, uh, I wanted to bring it back earlier, but we thought we'd hold out and come back two years later. So, and yeah, we're really excited to hit the stage. It must take its toll. There must be a huge amount of energy required for a show like this. Yeah, well, I'm actually on stage about 80% of the show. It's insane. I've 
give myself too much to do really but um yeah it takes a lot of training a lot of a lot of cardio so I'm actually here for 10 days until the tour starts, so I'll be doing a lot of training between now and then, yeah. Wow, hey, well, it sounds awesome. Thank you for stopping by to see us again. Oh, thanks for having me again. It's been a pleasure. Now, don't miss your chance to witness the magic that is Celtic Illusion. The show is heading all around the country. You can check out their website for ticket details.